when I speak about India's approach to the world, the United States occupy a special place. I know. Our, our relations are of great importance to all of you. Every member of this Congress has a deep interest in it. When defense and aerospace in India grow, industries in the state of Washington, Arizona, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, and Pennsylvania thrive. When American companies grow their, their research and development centers in India thrive, when Indians fly more, a single order of air, for aircraft creates more than a million jobs in 44 states in America. When an American phone makers invest in India, it creates an entire ecosystem of jobs and opportunities in both countries. When India and U.S. work together on semiconductors and critical minerals, it helps the world in making supply chains more diverse, resilient, and reliable. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, we were strangers in defense cooperation at the turn of century. Now, the United States has become one of our most important defense partners. Today, India and the U.S. are working together in space and in the seas, in science and in semiconductors, in startups and sustainability, in tech and in trade, in farming and in finance in art and artificial intelligence, in energy and education, in healthcare and humanitarian efforts. I can go on and go on, but to sum up it, why I would say the scope of our cooperation is endless. The potential of our synergy is limitless. And the chemistry in our relations is effortless. In all this, Indian Americans have played a big role. They are brilliant in every field not just in spelling B. <laughs> With their hearts and minds, talent and skills, and the love for America and India, they have connected us. They have unlocked doors. They have shown the potential of our partnership. 